Hi, this is Cherie with Rehash Fiber. Today I'm going to share with you a great kids pattern that involves intarsia knitting. So we can talk about both. So I'm going to talk to you about the sweater first. So I found it in the kids Vogue Knitting 2001. I had little girls at the time and they loved cats. So I went ahead and made them each their cat sweater from that pattern. The designer is Amy Bart, and it just says cat motif. I could not find the pattern online, but I did find the Vogue Knitting Magazine on Etsy. So this involves intarsia knitting, where you introduce a color and you need to put a twist into it before you start using the new color so you don't have a hole. It's really fun to know how to do intarsia because you can do really cool designs and it makes the knitting a whole lot more interesting. I have another example here. This is a sweater I made when my little girl was one or two. So this is intarsia all the way. I just followed the pattern and I did have to put a twist from the white to the black as I was going along. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. This is the front side of intarsia knitting. You can see how the two different yarns are woven nicely, there's no holes. I wanted you to see up close what the back side of intarsia knitting looks like. You can see how each thread is wrapped around the other and it's nice and secure, no holes. All right, for this demonstration, my background color is white and I'm doing a stockinette stitch and we are gonna add the new color on the knit stitch. I knit over 10, now we're gonna add blue. We're gonna leave a tail and it's gonna be on the back side. And right now I am just gonna hold the yarn with my tall finger and I'm going to knit. And I'm just going to introduce the yarn and just start knitting with it. The next time around on the purl side, we'll do the wrapping for the beginning. I'm just gonna knit over 10 with the new color. As we switch back to white, because there's enough distance between this side of the white and the new white, I'm going to add a new ball. The same way I added the blue, I'm just going to hold the white with my tall finger to the behind, and I'm gonna to continue to knit. Those stitches are loose for the moment. They will get wrapped in. So there you see, we've added a new color. We've started our intarsia. Now we're gonna do the pearl side. All right, here we go. Now don't worry about the tails at the moment because they're gonna get worked in. Let's start with the blue. And the wrap is gonna start. The white is gonna come over here. The blue, I'm gonna give it a tug. And you see how the twist happens right here? Now the white is captured. Now we can go ahead and purl. Okay, now we're getting ready to switch back over to the white. Got two more blues. Gonna give it a tug to get everything secure. That was a tug to the tail. Now, see there's a little bit for the hands to hold on to, but just be patient. Now we start with the white. I'm gonna insert the needle purl-wise, like we're doing a purl stitch, but I'm gonna make sure the twist happens. I'm gonna bring the blue over the white. You see how it's captured? And now I'm going to purl with this. There is a twist in there. And that will eliminate there being a hole or a gap. And you can gently tighten things up just a little bit. And then we're gonna go ahead with the white. All right, see it from the front? Now, the rows are we first added and the tails. That will get woven in so that that too will be secure. But right now you can see the first row is good. Right, we're gonna go on with our knit row. Okay, we're coming up on the blue again. Now to 
add the blue. I'm gonna make sure my white is over this way to the left and it's held by another finger out of the way. I'm bringing the blue that I'm working with up. Now that has put a twist in the back so that it will be connected. Do you see how that twist is gonna happen? Now the yarn is captured. There's no hole and I can go on knitting with the blue. Now we're coming back to where we're going to switch over to the white again. So the same thing, I'm keeping my yarn to the back. I'm moving it over to the left. I'm holding it out of the way with another finger. And I'm gonna bring the white that we previously worked with up. Make sure you don't accidentally grab the tail. And you see the twist will be put in. See how it goes over? And it's capturing the yarn and that is your twist. So the blue is coming in there nicely. It's nicely connected on either side. We're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you one more time on the pearl side how this goes. What you might need to do between rounds is just straighten out your yarn because sometimes it can get a little maddening with all the twists that go into it. And if you straighten it out in between, it helps keep you sane. So I straightened out my yarns. That'll be a little bit easier to work with. You can see how the back is. Everything's nicely twisted. You see how the tails will then get woven in. Okay, we're coming up on the join. I'm gonna put my needle in pearl-wise. I'm gonna take my white, I'm gonna cross it over to the left, pull up my blue, you see the twist is going in, and I'm going to pearl with the blue. And off we go. Now switching over to the white again, doing my last blue, enter the pearl stitch, enter the pearl stitch pearl-wise. I'm going to cross the blue over, lots of strands, pull up the white that was previously worked with on this side. Again, you see the twist in there, and now we're gonna purl with this white. So as you can see, intarsia is just when you're changing from one color to the next. It's not like stranding when you're doing an Icelandic sweater and you're carrying two colors and working them throughout the whole pattern or round. That is a little bit different technique because you need to take the yarn with you and you need to weave it in. He'll play with a piece of paper. Okay. I like to share with you little Rocky stories. You see him coming through here being crazy. He is the funniest guy. So if you've watched the past episodes, you've heard me tell a little bit of Rocky's story about how he was astray. And now he's been living with us. And so he's just really funny. He's a crazy guy. There are times he can look so regal. He'll be sitting with the window light on him and his fur looks like velvet and his paws are crossed and I'm thinking, you look like that beautiful black leopard from India, so regal. Then there's times he's barrel rolling down the stairs like a sausage because we're playing ball and he loses control and just goes. Um, he's actually done like an end over end too and I'm like, you are one clown of a cat. Anyway, he's a character and he walks through the scene every now and then. It's all right as long as he's not biting me. <laughs> All right, everybody. So if you're enjoying the programming, please check out Patreon on my website, rehashfiber.com. You can donate as little as a dollar a month right there. Also, there is merchandise and any little bit you purchase helps. All righty. Happy knitting, happy intarsia knitting, and thanks for watching.